Welcome back to Looking Good Hollywood. Oh, I love movie stars, and we sure have a big one today. We have Linda Christian, and has she worked with tremendous people? Charles Boyer, Robert Taylor, Elizabeth Taylor, Louis Jordan, Johnny Weissmuller, and one of my favorite films, Tarzan and the Mermaid. And we have her here today with Skippy Lowe. So let's eavesdrop on them now. Linda, um, grew up where, actually? Well, all over the globe. No, but grew up as a child, as a child. Yes, well, as a child, I was born in Tampico, Mexico, because my father was with the Shell there at the time. Mm -hmm. Being a Dutchman, um, we went back to Holland after six years in Venezuela, uh -huh. and then we went to the Middle East, but they sent me to boarding schools in Holland and Italy, and I also went to the Jerusalem Girls College. Really? When it was still Palestine. Uh -huh. Why there? Because my father was stationed at the time with the Iraq Petroleum Company in Haifa, mm -hmm. now Israel. So Linda Christian, international um, little Traveler. girl. Little girl, though. You yeah. were an international little girl. I was brought you up with six languages, yes. Six? Mm -hmm. You speak six? Yes, read right. Because when you're a little girl, you pick up those languages yes. quickly. Isn't Before you're 16 is the easiest way to learn a language. Uh -huh. But you have to be in the country itself. But you spent a lot of time in these countries, though, Linda. Yes. After around, um, what made Linda Christian get into acting? It was a, a strange coincidence. My hero of the screen was Errol Flynn. Mm. And he came to Mexico just after I... I graduated from the American high school there. Uh -huh. And uh, he said, oh, what would you like to do with your life? And I said, I'd like to become a doctor, to look after the sick. And he said, what? Spend your life looking after sick people? You're coming with me to Hollywood. Uh -huh. And that was it. So Earl Flynn brought you to Hollywood? Yes, under his uh, new banner that he had uh, uh, organized to get out of the contract with Warners uh -huh. and he co he made a company called Thompson Productions mm -hmm. but unfortunately other things impeded mm -hmm. this development. Linda Christian at 16 yeah. did you know who Earl Flynn really was like the most uh, sexual uh, craziest man of the world at that time you didn't know that did you? you, just, you know, I, I saw him as Robin Hood and all his marvelous films that he had done I uh -huh. didn't see him as the ground person right 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 uh -uh. first film brought you to Hollywood first film was Tarzan and the Mermaids was that the very first yes that was the With very first Johnny film. Weismiller yes Brenda Joyce mm -hmm. oh, love that lady and Gustavo Rojo he's a leading man in Mexico uh-huh was it filmed in Mexico? It was mostly filmed in Acapulco and Mexico City. The tank where we did the underwater scene right. was ice cold uh -huh. <laughs> when I uh -huh. think of it. But Mexico, you were very at home and relaxed. Well, so I've only spent about a year and a half of my life in Mexico. Oh, really? Yes. Because um, every time I hear Linda Christian nowadays, I think of you in Acapulco. No, I don't like Acapulco or anymore. Rome. I liked Acapulco when it was a little fishing village, but oh, not really? anymore. What do you mean, like a fishing village? It like, was. Little? It was a tiny little fishing village. Really? Yes, and now it's become another Miami. Uh, uh -huh. It's not that romantic, tropical little place mm -hmm. that it used to be. What was your f second film after that? You did Happy, Happy Time? Time. Ha yeah. That's Louis Jardin. Yes, and Charles uh, Boyer. Let's show this clip right there. Let's show it right here. Look, we have a clip? We have a, no, we uh, have um, a poster. A poster. Let's show this poster here. Finally, a Happy funny Time. Film. I have one here too. Let's show this. How's that? Look. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I love that. Is they that Louis Jardin there? Yes, it is. Ooh, who else was in this? Charles Boyer? Charles Boyer, Kurt Kasner, uh -huh. Bobby Driscoll. And was this here. MGM? Or it Wonders? was Columbia. Columbia? Columbia. Because you did a lot of films mm. at MGM, though. Yes, mm. I was under contract, but they loaned me out. How did you get under contract? Who's it was Ida Koverman, was the head secretary of uh, Louis B. Mayer. She saw me in a uh -huh. fashion show. Uh -huh. of Lily Dachet and when we used to wear hats. Uh -huh. I wish we'd go back to hats. I love really? why, why would you like to go back to hats again? I think it finishes up, up the, the, the outfit. It I completes see. it. It makes it a harmonious total. Uh -huh. Linda, Hollywood those days, yes. in the 40s, that was truly 
Hollywood, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was very glamorous then, but very hard work, too. Because people dressed. Yes. Dinner. Yes. Gowns, cereals, macambles. Yeah. Looking back. We didn't have very much time to do that, probably just on Saturday night. Was it only a Saturday? It seems like yeah. when I pick up the magazines as a child, you see all the stars. But that, that like depends the, on what day they publish the magazines. Uh, they seem like the they, were going out, they were going out every night, it seems. No, no, no. Under contract, not if you have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Under contract with MGM. Mm -hmm. Stock? They put you under stock contract, did you? Yes, a normal contract. A normal contract? Mm -hmm. You had to go to school there, learn acting, yes, um, singing? Yes, speech, singing, dancing, uh, acting. Uh -huh. <laughs> Slaves of Babylon, Richard Conti, Linda Christian. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. Is this it's again Columbia. Is this a Columbia picture? Another loan out. Uh, <laughs> Harry Cohn offered me also a marvelous uh, role, but... Um, it became very complicated. Tyrone had to accept to do Solomon and Bathsheba right. three years before he did it. Uh -huh. And uh, Harry Cohn said, if you convince him to do this, I will let you have a role that will give you an Academy Award. It was for From Here to Eternity, the one that Donna Reed Right. Was that, gonna, was that going to be your role? Yes. What happened, Linda? Tyrone didn't want to do Slaves he, of Babylon. He didn't? I'm, I'm sorry, that, not the slaves of, of Babylon. Uh, uh, Solomon. Solomon. Yeah. Solomon and Bathsheba. But he did do it later on. And right, and that's when he it. died in, in Madrid, the last film. Yeah. Tell me about Richard Conti working uh, Slaves of Babylon, <laughs> working with Richard Conti. There's well, a hot guy, Rich. I mean, yeah. oh, sexy, all the women in the world. Yeah, yeah. Well, Tell me about him. He, he got a little confused with the role and, and the man. Oh, really? Yeah. Like what? Uh, well, Was like, he? Uh, very amorous. And I had to ask Tyrone to come on the set to sort of put him straight. <laughs> How did you meet Tyrone Power? Tell me about Tyrone Power, one of the greatest yeah. stars in Hollywood, Linda Christian. What was that meeting? In Rome? In Rome. You did through, meet him? Through my sister. She wanted his autograph. He was her hero. Uh -huh. And it was late at night, and I said, we don't want to disturb him. And um, we went to, to our rooms, and she picked up the phone and asked for his, uh, for his suite. Uh -huh. And he said, well, come on over, have a drink. And I said, don't drink. Well, well they're coming and have a cigarette. I don't right. smoke. <laughs> well, then do come and ha take the autograph for your sister. Ah, yes, the autogra autograph. Uh -huh. So we went over there. And of course, Rome being what it is, right. when he opened the door, all the bells started to ring. And it was just. Both bells? Both bells? Yes. Between both of you? Absolutely. Really? And he immediately proposed marriage. Immediately? Immediately. You had one of the biggest weddings in Rome. Yes, they keep on showing it. The other day, I went back to Rome for a week for a television show, a little bit like ours. Right. And uh, they showed it again. They, sh they keep the, showing it. Yeah, they, they, they're really proud of it. How many children did you have by Tyrone Power? Well, we lost three, three uh, two boys and a girl, and then I had Romina and Taryn. Romina is... Romina is living in Italy, in and she's and very successful with her husband, singing all over the world. She's very famous in, in Europe. Yeah, the and singer. Oak also... All over? I was in Mexico? talking to you in Dutch. That's okay. You can speak Dutch. That's okay. <laughs> I don't think Skippy I can speak good. Dutch. Yes. I can speak Dutch, darling. <laughs> Go ahead. Oak, I said, that means also uh -huh. in Dutch. Uh -huh. Anyway, um... Taryn is uh, here, and she's fallen in love with your original inhabitants of uh -huh. America. Uh -huh. Is an uh, Indian from uh -huh. uh, Wisconsin. Uh -huh. uh, so we'll have to see what happens there. <laughs> Happy <laughs> memories with Tyrone Power. Come on. Well, was it your marriage, you think, or it was the driving through Europe before, actually? Really, like what? We went know? all over um, Portugal, Spain, France, Italy in the car, and then suddenly people would go, Tirona Power, Tirona Power. Uh -huh. He had a beret on and uh -huh. a convertible, and uh -huh. everybody recognized him, and everybody loved and adored him. They did adore him, didn't Yes. They? Why so much in Spain? Because he's more in Latin. Spain. He was Latin, wasn't he? He looked Latin. He's a black Irish. Oh, yeah. Irish, French, and uh, English. Looking back. Yeah. Your honeymoon night with Tyrone Power. And uh, we was? nearly didn't make it. We nearly went into a big car accident, but really? it was avoided at the last minute. The honeymoon? 
No, the <laughs> accident. The car accident. <laughs> <laughs> We went to Kitzbühel in Austria. Was that where you went? Yes. It was very cozy in the winter. Uh -huh. In the Weisses Rössel, it means the white little uh -huh. horse. Um, and we both, for the first time, were skiing. I never had skied before. Did you see you? That was fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he must have showed you life. Doors open for you when you met Tyrone Power. Well, they were already open, but we both went through them then. Uh, I see. <laughs> yes. Looking back, hard times in your life with Tyrone Power at the end, towards the end of the career, would you well, say? Well, it's not so much towards the end, it was during, because during? Like what? we lost uh, the first boy right. uh, in France, and then the second boy in Mexico, and the third little baby in uh, the Philippines, and I was not really altogether myself because of the interrupted pregnancies and they can do terrible things to a woman's uh -huh. body. I don't uh, wish it on anyone. What was Tyrone Power's philosophy in life when you met him? You must have lived with him. What was his philosophy? Because he was such a great guy. Yeah, everybody loved him. He what did a lot of reading too because he missed his uh, actual schooling. Uh huh. The formal school. So he read a lot? Yes, he it was uh, self-instructing himself. Looking back, must have had some great memories with Tyrone Power. But you got married again, though. Yes, but that was only 24 hours. 24 well, hours? Yeah. Yeah, tell me about that, because Linda, no, no, you're 24 hours. And then something happened. You lived and you thought you were married for all these years. Let's, yes. go and, let's talk about that. What do you mean 24 hours? Well, we... Uh, you married Edmund? Edmund Purdom. Purdom. I did a wonderful film, actor. Athena. You did... Uh, Athena with Athena. him. Yes, right. Um, we got married in Mexico and on the honeymoon. Uh, he beat me up because I had Here's made him wait so long to get married. There he is right there. That's your second <laughs> husband, Edmund. Look how beautiful. This was a film called what? Athena. Athena. Mm -hmm. This was in Europe? Was this no, it was, no, it was in um, MGM. MGM. Yes. Well, that's right. He, he did movies with Lana Turner. He did, did a film with Lana Turner Lana? and the Egyptian. That's the Lana. And right. the, um, the one with the voice of Mario Lanza. Uh -huh. uh, the student prince. Student prince. Yes, he was wonderful Love. with Anne Blythe. Because he has Absolutely a very wonderful. musical ear, but uh. he was he was very nice as a boyfriend. But then, as the husband beating me up, I wasn't going to have any repetition. So was he? A, what, was that he? was that. He was a beater. Well, only once is enough with me. So uh. I sent him home. Uh huh. On the honeymoon night. On the honeymoon night. Wow. What happened there? Tell me. Well, what we happened? were at friends in Acapulco and. Uh, after dinner, we went to our suite, and he uh, beat me because I had uh, made him wait so long to get married. Really? But you, so, but Linda, you just recently discovered. Yes, that I was you going after I uh, was cleaning up at the house in Mexico after my mother died in my arms. She just died. Uh, I m noticed in an passport that they had scratched out divorce because I thought that they had divorced me and it turned out that um, the uh, lawyer had committed suicide and my brother died and nobody told me that the papers had never been uh, finalized right so I'm still trying to get a divorce after 31 years of not uh -huh. having been uh -huh. living under the same roof as mm -hmm. husband and wife right <laughs> it's very tough, complicated. Tough, isn't it? So you had a lot of marriage. You could have married a lot of people, but you thought yeah, you but were... but I didn't feel like getting married. I never really felt like getting Linda, married. Linda, Christian, traveling <laughs> around the world, VIP, you know, you know every... You're, yeah. you're you know, rich and famous. When uh, this Robin Leach does Rich and Famous, hmm. there you are. You and Miss Grace Robbins. You are the two ladies that travel around the world. Yes, Grace and Good I friends. are great friends forever and ever. Travel around the world, international stars. You're not just a movie star anymore. You're an international VIP lady. But she was what, a VIP. I understand that. Yes. <laughs> but just tell me more about living in all the world like that. Living that way. Are you happy I that make, way? Yes. I make a lot of friends and I keep them. Uh, I'm very proud of that. It's like a rose garden. You have to keep it watered and look after. And it makes me very happy to have all these friends all over the world. Because you do have a lot. Yes. You go to Mexico? 
Mexico and Norway and England and France and Italy and Austria, Germany, everywhere. Ah. No, Christian, don't you get tired? You love to travel, though. You just keep yes, traveling. Yes, I think it's something that uh, was in my destiny from the very beginning because after one year we left my birthplace, Tampico, Mexico, uh -huh. and I've been traveling ever since. The VIP. You did a <laughs> wonderful movie with Rod Taylor, Australian guy. Yes. Wonderful Australian actor. Here he is. A wonderful um, This is with coverage. Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor. And, uh, yes, and, and Richard, Richard Burton. Burton. Right. Tell me about